Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Edward from Huiyao Laser Technology, Luoyang Co Limited, aka Yao Laser. Today, I'm going to show you how the battery cells are processed to become a battery module and eventually become a battery pack. Behind me is Yao Laser's latest prismatic battery module pack assembly line, and I will give you a brief induction of each workstation. Okay, let's go. So the first workstation is battery cell automatic loading workstation. As you can see, we use a robot arm to load battery cells and the brand of the robot arm we use are normally KUKA, ABB or FANAG. So this robot arm will grab four battery cells and place them on a double speed chain. And there's a QR code scanner that will scan each battery's QR code which is located between two terminal poles and then transfer the data to the MES system. In terms of the MES system, the monitor above us will display real-time data about how many modules and packs are produced during the production. After the battery cells are loaded on the double speed chain, they will come to the OCV testing workstation first. In this workstation, they will test the battery cells voltage and inner resistance to make sure the battery cells meet the requirements of this production line. If it fails to meet the requirements, it will be transferred to the NG cell buffering area for the operator to take it out. And the qualified battery cell will continue moving to the next workstation, cell polarity detection and flip workstation. In this workstation, it has detection pins to test the polarity of each battery cell if the position of the positive and negative polarity does not meet the requirements of the formula of the battery module, the grip will grab the cell and flip upside down to make sure the polarity's position is correct. After battery cells flipped, they will move to the glue manually applying workstation. There will be one or two operators applying this strip glue on the top of the battery. In terms of the shape of the strip glue, it is totally based on the requirement of the client. Next, all the battery cells will go to the stacking and pressing workstation. As you can see, there are two robot arms in this fence. So the first robot arm will grab both battery cells at a time and place them on this flat stacking table. Each row will stack the cells as one module. And then the second robot arm will grab the module and locate it on this pressing workstation. As you can see, this assembly line is equipped with four pressing tables, two on this side and the other two on the other side. The operator will pre-install a steel belt on the bottom of this mechanism. The operator will install end plates on each side of the module and push the button to start pressing. And then install the steel belt at the bottom and another steel belt on the top of the module. Also, there is a printer alongside the pricing table that will print out a module code, which, are, which the operator will stick on the side of the module. After done pricing, again, the second robot arm will grab the module and place it back on the double switching for the second part of this module line. After stacking and pressing, the module will enter the terminal pole photography workstation. In this workstation, the camera will track each terminal pole's center mark point and generate each point's coordinate data, which will be shared to the rest of the workstation. Next, the module will come to the insulation detection workstation. The purpose of this workstation is to make sure all the battery cells function well like to make sure the battery cells is not broken during the stacking and pressing process. Moving forward, the module will enter the terminal pole laser cleaning workstation. This workstation will use 200 watts laser to clean the surface of the terminal pole, which will remove the dust or any residues. Now, 
we come to this area where the operator will install the CCS or bus bar on the top of the battery module. The operator will take the CCS or bus bar from the material cards and do the in installation. Next will be the most important workstation of this line, laser welding workstation. Normally we will use 6 kW laser welding machine to do the job. And the laser brands we most use are IPG, GW, DG or Max. We can choose to use one or two or four couple nozzles to press the CCS or bus bar to do the laser welding. And this monitor will display the real-time data of the molting depths and width, which will help you to check the quality of the welding. After the laser welding, the operator will use a dust collector to clean the surface of the welding point. And the module will be transferred to the EUR testing workstation, which is to ensure the module meets all the requirements. Finally, we have reached to the end of the battery module assembly line. Two operators will use this crane to transfer the module into pack lower case on the pack assembly line.